over the summer, we saw inflation hit a 40-year high. The most recent CPI report shows that inflation hit 8.2% year over year in September. So now we're seeing inflation creep into the candy aisle as Halloween approaches. Can you tell us more about that? Well, you know, when I first thought about this and I first saw the statistics on inflation and candy prices, it's like, well, you know, uh, a lot of that obviously is because of input prices, more expensive raw materials, all the ingredients in the candy. And then I thought about it's like, how would we explain this to trick or treaters? Uh, and then, uh, of course, here in the office, we have all this Halloween ca candy. And it's like, you know, these packages are really small. I mean, when I was a kid, I remember getting regular candy bars, but every year the packages seem to be getting smaller. And that's one of the things consumer products companies do all the time uh, as a way of coping with inflation. Uh, you know, they don't like to increase prices because if I increase prices, then consumers may go to one of my competitors, right? So one of the things they do is they'll shrink the size of the package. So I thought, wow, this thing is so small. I can't even get the whole logo on it, you know? So then I decided it's like, well, you know, how do we, how do we tell that story to trick or treaters? So you actually have a scale and some candy bars there. So what you were holding right now, I can tell the S is a Snickers. I'm a bit of a sweet tooth, but that looks like a smaller fun size than what I had growing up. So can you do a demonstration for us and weigh the candy bars? Let's compare the weight. Sure, Brittany. Well, it turns out that I have a scale in my office. Everybody should have a scale in their office. And, you know, so then what happened is like, let me start weighing these bars. And it's like, oh, the Snickers is 0.316 ounces. Okay. And then we have uh, Milky Way minis. Oh, those are only 0.292 ounces. And then let's see what it, we have three musketeers. And you see the packages are so small. Oh, this is only 0.229 ounces. And it's like, Boy, not only are packages getting smaller, it varies by brand. I went over to my assistant's desk and picked a whole bunch of Snickers and then weighed them just to get the range, you know, just to get the feel of it. But I, I thought, actually, this is a great way of explaining to trick-or-treaters, to your kids, what happens when inflation hits food prices, which is maybe you end up getting less because, after all, it's the adults who answer the door who are paying for this. Of course. And do you think that it would be beneficial for parents to use this opportunity to talk to their kids about the economy and about inflation in general? Well, I think this is one of those small little lessons about how do escalating prices affect all of us, right? Now, for trick-or-treaters, you know, uh, there, there, there are a lot of parallels. Like, so what happens is a consumer products company, the company that makes these things, you know, maybe, may, maybe this one is less profitable than that one. So I can give you more. So what uh, consumer products companies will do is like, maybe they'll emphasize some products where they can give you more or, or that are more profitable. Now, if you're a kid who is trick or treating, you know, you might look at these and say, well, I don't get as much for each one. So I'm going to have to work longer, work in quotes, where I have to, you know, go out and collect for longer. And then I'll, I'll also have a product mix that I will collect as well. So, you know, uh, inflation means things are harder to come by. So maybe you have to work longer, or you have to collect more, right? So it's, it's kind of a mini lesson in economics in, uh, terms that everybody understands. And based on what you just showed us, uh, the Snickers was the heaviest, so there's the most Snickers there. Do you think consumers are going to change what brands they buy based on what we're the sizing of them? Well, uh, it depends if consumers notice, okay? And so what we've seen, uh, and I mentioned this in the piece I wrote for Forbes as well, what we've seen over the years is a lot of packages have gotten smaller and smaller. Uh, and so sometimes in my case, when I see uh, the package size on orange juice uh, drop from 64 fluid ounces to 59 to now 52 ounces for the brand that I usually buy, I start looking at how much I get because it's like, oh, there's another brand that still gives me 59. Maybe I'll, I'll switch to that. So uh, those are the types of calls that we make in the grocery aisle all the time.